Hi folks and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at another hint for Elite Dangerous players. Um, specifically we're going to be looking at one way of finding very profitable trade routes which could potentially, if the circumstances are right, make you quite a bit of money. I'm still my UK. I am a variety streamer on Twitch. I also produce gaming content on YouTube. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram as Silmar UK, and I have a website which is www.silmaruk.net where I will be posting some blog articles and other resources soon. But without further ado, let's uh, take ourselves to this screen in game. Um, so today we are looking at one particular type of profitable trade route and we don't even have to go into the game to find it. It's also going to give us a chance to play around with one of the best out of game tools for Elite Dangerous out there, which is the Elite Dangerous database. The URL for the website is eddb.io. And if you play Elite Dangerous, you want to make use of this website. So uh, let's just bring that up. So this is the eddb.io website and specifically what we're going to be looking for is ways of trading military grade fabrics a particular commodity in elite dangerous which has consistently got potential profit margins in excess of 10,000 credits per ton of cargo you can shift so Although we will be looking at military grade fabrics, if you wanted to look at other commodities that you might want to ship for some reason, you could use the same approach or other tools on this website to find the most profitable ways to move those commodities. But before we take a, a look at this, in case you are already thinking this, yes, there are more profitable things in the game, specifically mining, and if you're just interested in increasing your trade rank or in just making money, your time may well be better spent doing the mining. But not everyone enjoys mining. Shocking, I know, but it is indeed true. Uh, and people should be able to play the game the way they wish. And there may be other reasons why someone doesn't want to go and do mining but wants to work on their trade rank or making money through trade and this tip will hopefully be of use to those people so um, you go to the website eddb.io you are presented with a variety of tools you can use and what we're interested in is commodities so click on that all the commodities in the game you'll be used to seeing these most likely if we click on the profit column first we get low to high now we've got high to low where we clicked again and we can see again no surprise meta alloys single most profitable commodity but for those people who've played the game for a bit you'll realize that that's you know 400 light years each way trip uh that's going to slow you down slow down your profit you may not want to be doing that so military grade fabrics is normally number two which today is retailing at 13,651 credits potential profit per ton uh, so we have a lowest bow price, buy price, sorry, of 542 credits per ton, an average galactic buy price of 899 credits per ton, and a potential sell price of 14,193 credits per ton. So we've identified this is the commodity we're interested in, but you know, you could use Imperial Slaves, if that's what you were after, basic medicines, if maybe you were looking for outbreak systems. But we're going to carry on with military grade fabrics. So I will click on military grade fabrics and I now see the information for this specific commodity. And what we see straight away is the most profitable place to sell it is a place called Cook Silo, which is a planetary base. That's what that icon is there for in the Burr system. So for military grade fabrics, you're going to need horizons. Lots of planetary bases will be coming up in the search results. If you don't have horizons, you are not going to be able to make use of this trick. And you might want to use this for something like basic medicines or one of the other commodities that can also sell for a quite good profit margin. So the first thing you want to do is you want to check the places you can sell. So at this moment we can see we've got two stations which are selling at 14,000 credits a ton plus 
with reasonable demands. Um, we've all, after that, it drops to about 12,000. So really, you want to sell to one of these two. So the next thing I would suggest you do is, I'm just opening up tabs for each of these two stations. So Cook Silo, Planetary Base. 3,313 light seconds from a jumping in point. Not ideal, but not terrible. Um, Foreman Keep, planetary base, 15,000 light seconds. That's not brilliant for fast trade runs. Um, so out of those two, where we're maximizing our profits, Cook Silo seems to be the best. We might want to take a look at this penal colony here, Bombelli. Just see if that could be significantly better. Uh, uh, 1,699, but yeah, there's not too much of a difference between those distances. Then we're dropping to just under 12 grand, 2,000. So we can see that... You know, we're not finding any stations that are 40 or 50 light seconds from the star. Um, so we're going to go with Cook Silo. So the next thing I would want to do, um, and I've already done it here actually, but once I've identified the station I want to set at, I do go into here, just in case it wasn't Burr. Just type Burr in there, select there. And make sure these are set to your preferences. And this is for where you want to buy the commodity. We're looking for places to buy. We click on find stations. And we now get information on where we can buy stuff in relation to Cook Silo. Um, and what we can see here is that although the very closest is 6.73 light years away, the supply, although quite reasonable, um, is far outstripped by the supply just a little bit further out. And supply is very important for this. Uh, also, actually, if we go in just a little bit further, we'll get a slightly better sell price. And looking at the age of these, this information, it's slightly better for Mitchell Orbital than it is for Arnold Station. Uh, and also the distances at this slightly further system are also slightly better. So the key information we've got here is we've got a Mitral Orbital in the Wafi Paran system. Probably pronounced that wrong. Uh, we've got a very good buy price, 653 credits a ton. So we're looking at over 13,500 credits a ton profit. We've got a very good demand in excess of 400,000 units. Sorry, supply. Um, we have large landing pads. We have relatively fresh data. It's not very far from the jumping in point and the distance is easily within one jump. So we now know that our run will be to travel from Mitchell Orbital, grabbing military grade fabrics and it's a spaceport. So it's not a planetary station. We'll then be flying to the Burr system to land at Cook Silo and sell and we'll be making in excess of 13,500 credits a ton. And with profit margins like that, we should do very well for ourselves. Now, there are some caveats to this approach. Uh, one of the important ones is you need a good cargo capacity. The bigger your cargo capacity, the more money you will make. Um, 100 ton cargo capacity is going to be bringing you about 1.3 million credits per round trip from selling those fabrics. If you can get that to 500, well in excess of 6 million credits probably. If you can get it up to the top end, 720, uh, then you'll be looking at even more money. Um, we do need to be very mindful of these figures. We need to be mindful of the supply because we don't want to run out too quickly um, we also need to be mindful of how fresh the data is because if the data is more than about a day old other people may already have exhausted this route and if it's a particularly busy time even 12 hours might be too old so you do need to be aware of that 
you also should be aware that because this is all publicly available information if you like to fly in open you might find yourself running into more pirates because the pirates can look this stuff up they can see where people might be focusing their trading particularly a lightly armored and shielded large cargo hold uh, vessels and there would be nothing to stop them using these tools find out where you're likely to be intercept you take some of your cargo uh, and then jump off to another station where they can sell it freely for similar profit margins um, so do be aware uh, you might not want to play in open using this if you want to avoid the potential for aggravation if that aggravation is not an issue for you then play however you want okay so that's basically the trick um and as i said you could use this to look up other things so if you want to help systems in outbreak states you could look for basic medicines which might retail in those cases for five thousand credits a ton but i have done a fair few trade runs now looking at military grade fabrics and it has gone very well i've been making seven eight million credits a run and getting in anywhere from five to ten runs over the course of an hour um, that's comparable to the kind of figures that i've seen that i've personally got from void opal mining but as i said before that's something like double payload hotspot mining will outstrip the profit from this so if you're just interested in the money look up double payload hotspot mining i'll i will probably do some hints and tips videos on that i do have another hints and tips video to help you find those asteroids with cores uh if you're looking for the void opals or the low temperature diamonds uh and that's it for now so thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like uh please consider subscribing to the channel for more uh hints and tips videos in the coming day and other gaming content particularly around elite dangerous uh, and if you wish to ask me any questions or leave any comments, please do so. It all greatly helps. Thank you very much and I'll see you for now.